Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be about going deep and, and going where it's going to be paint filled or put epoxy in. I was doing a job this morning for a man that wanted it deep, and I actually ran this one, 50 speed at 100 power times 2. I ran it twice, and you can actually do that in your print driver and put two pages. It took two minutes and 20 seconds. I got to a depth of 0 .89, 0 .089. But I saw that I'm going to test this. So I ran this at half the speed, but only one, one time. It took less time, it took a minute less, and I got to the same depth. But look at the burn residue on this one versus this one. There's a lot less burn residue on the one that you ran twice and that'll save you a lot of sanding time. Now, if you were doing a big deal, you know, it might not be worth it. But then I thought I'm going to go, I'm going to try a few different things. So I ran 50 speed, 100 power times two, took two minutes and 20 seconds. And I got to the same depth, but I did from top to bottom engraving. I normally, all the rest of them are engraved from the bottom up, which I normally engrave. So I thought I'm going to see what the difference is. And when, it, when the laser starts engraving right here, that initial contact with the wood uh, brings up all the sap and burn residue. And these are exactly the same. And a lot of times you can see the smoke residue going this way where there's really no smoke residue here. So if you, if you did bottom up engraving, you, know, you might not get any smoke residue if you're to your next word. Where this, you're going to have, you had another word right there, you're going to put smoke on it. Anyway, then I thought I'm going to try 50 speed, 100 power. Took two minutes and 13 seconds because I ran it at 1,200 dots per inch. Did pretty good. A little difference on the burn residue. And I, I didn't get quite as deep, but I just went one time, but I was running at 1,200 dots per inch. I don't suggest trying to go deep with 1,200 dots per inch unless you're just in a hurry, because this took just a little bit less time, but not that much. Then I thought just to play around and look at the lesser amount of burn residue on there, I vectored this one at 50 speed, 100 power, and it only took 48 seconds to do that same letter, and I got to the twice, almost twice the depth. And so if you're going to paint fill something, especially if you're just doing a, uh, you know, not a, I'm not going to say a bunch of text, but if you're just doing a circle or a piece of inlay, you could uh, vectorize it. And to do that, and I just show you here on this E, I brought in the letter E, and I don't, I've already converted it to a curve. You need to do that, and then go up to Effects, Contour, and I'm going to go 40 steps to the inside at at 0 0.003 and then this only took 48 seconds and I wouldn't suggest it you know so much for engraving but if you're gonna pour epoxy in there you know there's there's less burn residue I think or about the same as the other I'm twice as deep so I, I've got more area to put the epoxy and your surface is kind of rough and not flat, you know, they've got some little lines in here between the cuts. And I think the epoxy or whatever is going to, you know, especially if you're using a thick paint that are going to cover that up, I think you'd be better off to vector it. Now, I wouldn't do a bunch of text like that, but, you know, if you were just doing a circle or a, you know, a clip art of a dog or something that's not very, you know, you could, you could vectorize it and, and save you some time and, and go a little deeper. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.